Hey, this is Johnny Warrior with Thunderbird Outdoor Adventures. I'm here with Don Bjork. Today we're going to do a part two to our original potable water. We're going to demonstrate to you how using a stream and pre-filtering can do two things. Well, our objectives to this is we want to teach you that we can extend the life of your live straw or your sawyer as well as limit the contaminants that will be in your drinking water. Here you can see a dammed up stream. It's got a lot of particulates in it. Yet, uh, the video before we discussed how we're looking for fast moving water. And what happens with the fast moving water is we get pools or it pushes the contaminants and particulates to the side, keeping the middle part of the creek or stream clear. Here's a demonstration. As you can see, there's the oil sheen, there's some contaminant there. You can see how some of the larger trash material gets pushed to the side on the shoreline. If you look down here, you can see how the water's clear and it flows underneath this bypass bridge. Now we're upstream of that bypass bridge because we don't want to take water downstream where chemicals and petroleum based products leach into the soil and get into the water system. That's something most sawyers and live straws can't take is uh, petroleum based byproduct and certain chemicals. So we want to limit access to that. Now when we were looking upstream we checked for decaying body animal carcasses or urinating or defecating animals and downstream we can see that we've left a major part of our potential contaminant sources by coming upstream. Now Don Bjork is going to go ahead and demonstrate how by reaching into the middle of the stream as far as he can reach he's taking the cleanest part of the water that he can. Now in a second vessel he's going to use a t-shirt to pre-filter the water. What that's going to do is it's going to limit by double plying that t-shirt and allowing it to filter through. He's going to take a lot of suspended particulates out of the water. Large trash materials that didn't get pushed to the side. Mud, clay, sand. That'll all get caught up in this pre-filtering process. Now, yes, it's the second step. But by doing this, you're going to actually extend the life of that life straw that he's going to use. Now that he's completed the pre-filtering process, I'm going to go ahead and take the live straw and drink directly out of the second container. We hope you enjoyed this video. We hope that you come and visit us at www.thunderbirdoutdooradventures.com. Check us out on Facebook. Like our Facebook page and please subscribe to our YouTube. We're trying to bring you the highest quality videos and give you not just the how, but the why. Thank you.